about this. So on this side, it was the uh, first thing was over there was a pig and whistle. And that was like a drive-in restaurant. That was a first like a drive-in. Because you had to go in, you oh, couldn't you get it served outside. It was like a candy kitchen. Was it for the kids more? Oh, than... yeah, it's the milkshakes and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Did you ever go there? Oh, yeah. Mark. Did you? <laughs> Jim, Mark built that building. Oh, Mark built the pig yeah, and whistle? Pig, pig, pig and whistle. He built the building, but he didn't run the business? No, he's he rented, sold it. Then. He rented it out to the people who run yeah. pig and whistle, and he sold it to... Uh, to the bank, to, or no? No, Norman Hobbs bought it, and somebody else up there. Uh, and the bank bought it from, uh, I don't know who that was, it was or something. But see, Sousy, I begged Sousy's to buy all this when he bought it. He only did $500 for what he bought up there. Oh, there no. no road down. Uh, no <laughs> road? 40 wasn't here? Well, yeah, the road was oh. there, but there wasn't no road over there. Sousy paid only $500. $500. Did he buy that from you? No, I bought it from Yes, uh, I really home for it. Now that's where you uh my sister lives. Uh-huh. Miss Sawyer. But now wasn't that um That belonged to Jim Gaither. Gaither, right. Now he was a, he he built that house and he run, run the first water to over the city. You know where I showed you that Yes, the ram or the, the pump. pump uh -huh. Now this yard didn't never belong to us. This belonged to the merits, which is Linwood. Oh, this was Linwood Stewart. property. Right. Uh -huh. This on this side belonged to Rogers. Uh-huh. And that's where the Rogers name came from. Right. I'm going to go down this way. Um, well, do you remember the Sykes family? Oh, yeah, no, no. Were they your dentist? Did you, did, you get this picture, did you get a picture of their house? Yes, it's in the book uh -huh. with the family. I got it from Mrs. Peeler in That uh, was, that was Carlton Sykes. Uh-huh. None of these no, houses None of these houses were here? None of them. All of these down this road here. Outside of Dundee, you got that, that big yes. did, did the road go like this then? Now, this was or the road I was telling you about, narrow... it was Avenue. Yeah. It was just a little teeny narrow road. And 1925, when they put the road in, and they called it Bell's Lane. Bell's Lane went close to the bridge. It went the other way, yeah, didn't it, it out of Ellicott City? And then you... Sykes' house right. up on the hill. And there was just a lane back there to Sykes' house? There was an entrance down here. Oh, I, I think it ran in right down here. Near the church, somewhere. Well, right in the hill, I think it went up. Oh, okay. Just go. And you could come through from down there to the... From off of uh, Main yeah. Street, you could get yeah. up to the yeah. Sykes place? Now, the first airplane I ever saw land landed there. Norman told me about that when you were <laughs> yeah. kids. It went upside and down. Do you remember and when the church was deep. built out here? Oh, yeah. Uh, How about the black school that here? That was a black school. That was old man Joe Ray's place. That one's for sale down there, the white one. You see that? That, that white house belonged, belonged to the McNabs. I don't know who's got it now. They all did. There's some black families down there, but there were white families too, is that right? That lived right down black, there? Black families, the Hammonds lived uh -huh. there. Now this was uh, Bud McKinney's place here. Up here at the high. Now don't go too fast. Okay. That I'm was, that was centers over here. here. I'm going to pull over here so you can... Now this, this, this here, I don't know what you're going to do here. Half a project. Probably something to do with the drainage or something. Now this, this up on the hill, uh -huh. this property all up on the hill here. It belonged to the Sheriff of Manningham, it belonged to uh, Isaac at one time. Did you ever hear it? The Isaacs it? had the quarry, didn't they, over no. down on the Potasco River? They could have, but that uh -huh. belonged to Isaac, the farm did. Then people in the name of Manningham's had it in the last few years. They've had a lot of land, the Manningham's. Well, that, that, that's, that's an Isaac property. Runs clear up where they built them houses on Tollgate yes. Road. Yes, yes. That's, uh -huh. that's his hill. Runs clear on the church, I mean, the Hill Street, all on that side of the hill. Now, all of these houses along here, were they white families? Or? All white families, and I think it's still all white families. Yeah, uh -huh. that, this, this was a little, little store here at one time. The little greenhouse yeah. here. Now, that was a garage. Mm -hmm. Bradley's lived in one, one house there. And the, the gray building was a garage just for that people's was a, That was a little old garage, like ever a, since I remember. Uh, no where they put, worked on cars, you mean? Uh, no, just cars? for the home. Oh, I see. 
for the Bradleys had a car and so did Kellis, and they kept it in that garage. And the next house belonged to Ben Miller for years and years. Dr. So, ben, and Dr. ben, ben and he rented it? Him and the Crafts owned Half Elk City at one time. Oh, did they really? Yeah. And the next house belonged to Joe Malone. Well, when did Sam Kaplan do all the buying? Oh, he didn't buy it after the, uh, after the war. After World War II? And Dr. Ben owned a lot of it. He owned a lot of it. Him and the Crafts owned, I'll tell you when I get down okay. and show you a lot of it that they owned. Now, the Titsworth's wife's people owned that house side next to the Did Titsworth's. Did you see the store, the picture of the uh, Titsworth's store? That was store? good, that was good. Wasn't that a good one? I uh, was surprised. And that's where she lived then, that's in where? the Brown House. Uh, she lived there. Mrs. Edith Titsworth? Mrs. Titsworth. Now, this was Zaner's, and that was Bud McKenzie's up on the hill. Uh, this was Zaner? Zaner. Zener, as that F-Z-E-N-N-E-R. -E -E what did they do then for a living? Where did they, they, they worked at the railroad. Right. And the last one just died, you know, there's one more living, lives up on the, on the, up there, the, the city school on the road. Uh -huh. Well, that's where you lived. Uh-huh. So, and most of these this, people worked in Ellicott City somewhere? Well, they worked in Baltimore. Uh -huh. This was Keller's and this was Zener's. I mean, uh, Bradley's. These belong to Ben Miller. This fellow was a saloon keeper. Uh -huh. And this is, this that's Titsworth's old place. And then they added this yeah, had that building one. on. Now, this is, this is green. Uh, the garage. The garage belonged to Oldfield. You had that in there. Right. And, and then, now, this is a black family then? That, right here. That, that's a black family. Carter's in there. Right. And she's but, still there now. Now, uh, her mother and father lived there. Uh -huh. Their name was. Uh, so you, Crawford. So you had black families and white families. Oh yeah, sure. Lived I've been Fells Lane, where there's twelve Fells Lane out. It was all black families uh -huh. and white families. We all lived. Now that that house, I don't know who lived in that house. The green house. I oh. knew in years Charlie Klein lived there. Ed Klein's father. Uh -huh. Now, uh, when it, when this was Oldfield's pump, was that when you were a boy? Was oh yeah, I bought a car from the fellow lived there, an old Maxwell, first. Or was it a, an automobile dealer? An automobile dealer had it. But you don't remember when it was a pump? Oh, yeah, oh, sure, it. sure. I remember when the water ran right in front of it. Okay. And where he used to soak the yeah, pumps in yeah. the well, water? Well, it's only been late years that they covered that over and made a filling station in there. And there was a filling station yeah, then? Yeah, uh, and, and a car dealer? Mm -hmm. You said you bought a Maxwell car there? Car dealer, an old Maxwell up over there. It was a Ford. Well, it came out there, it was going to sell Fords. Henry Miller died, and he went down and took over mm -hmm. Henry Miller's place. Henry Miller had the Ford place? Ford, this is in later years. Yeah. Was that any relation to the Charlie Millers? That Charlie's brother. One had a Ford and one had the Chevy? That's right. Not Walter. Walter was another brother. And he was another brother. He had Chevy and that was I mean, But you know, all this hill back here and those pictures were to, there. That belonged to uh, Sykes's. Didn't even, I guess, were they farming it? Didn't even have Oh, yeah, they farmed it. Oh, they. They cut if the you call farm, it's oh. <laughs> like we farm. Yeah. And I don't know who lived here. Uh -huh. Of course, the West End. That's the way you went new. up to Sykes' house, too. Oh, okay. Now, this, this was a... Let's see who lived there. I know them two, but I can't go. Their old family lived there. The brick house? Brick house. That and that's the house. same way it was. They had a tavern in there during the war, and right here's where I got, you, when you read that, you find where that switchblade light hit me over the heart and knocked me down on the road. It was here at the tavern at 8578? Tavern was downstairs. Oh, underneath? Uh-huh, that is down the basement. They called it, uh, uh all the name of uh, Kugel, had a tavern and it served food, too. Now, this belonged to the Moors. The, uh... Was it a, a frame and stone and they house? It belonged to the same people. It was all that size, all even. Right. Because it looks like maybe it was a little stone house. Well, I, I think they, maybe they built onto it, but right. that's been out of way since. I mean, they, all they did over there with that, it was frame, and they covered up with them shingles. With the shingles. Well, now, the, the next green land is down that there. That belonged to the Yates. Were they all homes when you remember them? Yeah, well, it was supposed to have been a saw assembly room at yes, one time. they were called the, the new assembly uh, rooms. That's right, but in my time, they made it into homes. And the Yates family, the Yates family owned them? Owned them. Did they live there? or just Some of them still lived there. Uh, 
Well, I don't know who owns them now, but I mean... But you remember two, two, people calling them the assembly rooms? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just well just Oh, is that right? Okay. Because yeah. um, Benjamin Franklin's grandson came and spoke down here at the assembly rooms one time. Yeah, that was it, right there. This, this house all been built in late That's what I wondered. When they built these little they, houses? They haven't been built in here too long. After World War II, or...? No, well, I think it was built before World War II. Because they're just little. But that, that old house, oh, that's an old house. That's the old Ripley property. Ripley? Uh -huh. And what did, it looks almost like it could have been a stagecoach in or something. It could have been a stagecoach for somebody. But then the building in front of it, is that newer? That was new when they, they built these, when they built I think, all these about the same time. Does one person Gil own Ga them all? Gil Gash owned them at one time. Uh -huh. Sam Kaplan owns them all now. Oh, he does. The, the little ones and uh -huh. and how about the old stone back there? I think he bought them all. He bought all of them. He owns these. This is the old Parsons to the church. I don't know. That's, that's a, a black that's a church. That's, that's a black church. Uh huh. Was that a black church when you yeah, were a boy? Been there ever since I knew. How about these big they, frame? They was there. There was black people in them. Always black. People. And and white people over there. Uh, all white in people. Here. John Curtis. Curtis owned it. I was telling you about Woosh collecting rents. These houses you're long for these were. He'd collect rents from these for, for whoever owned, owned them. them. And so white people owned them and rented them to black That's families? Right. Now the next house down there, the stone house, I don't know. Now the next house was Charlie Rackliff, the other painter I was talking. Uh -huh. And the next row of houses belonged to Brent Rackliff, this side of the store. Yes. And the other side of the store was Miss... Is that the Yates? Yates. At Matthews was Matthews, there. right, and they owned all of them. And on this side was Treasures and uh, Old Colored Mail Carrier. And so again, you had white people and black oh, people yeah, yeah, sure, mixed with sure. uh, some they, families. They, the only thing it didn't do, I don't know whether they ate together, but we all ate together at our house. The black house? Oh, sure. sure. You, for sure, lunch? Sure. When we had you know, the fashion and, and getting the ingrained thing. All the black people ate like that. You all ate together sure. at the same new sure. table. And I never had no trouble with it. You know, the black people in the old city, they lived in our houses down there for years and years and years and years, and if you get a dollar a week, you got it. If you didn't get it, you didn't get nothing. And you, uh, as a policeman, you never had trouble particularly yeah. with them. Oh, I had trouble with them. Bite and things like that. Uh -huh. I put them in jail. Shooting crap, you used to lock people up shooting crap and playing cards. Is that right? This used to be a little old church. This little tiny what building here? Uh -huh. yeah. That was a church. This is an old house. Uh -huh. These are all houses that you had in the paper. Right. Right, the Matthews in here. Yeah, that's that Matthews and Rackliff on this other road. Treasures on this. Black family lived there and black family lived there. Over here. See, they burned. That yeah. one burned. Yeah. That's where the Burgesses lived. Warm the Burgesses lived up on the hill. Uh -huh. I remember when they had the uh -huh. mill here. Pull over here. Now so this ain't been built there too long. That's a, a new type building. Yeah. I'm going to turn in here so you can tell me about the Burgesses. Uh, uh, do you remember when the Burgesses had the mill? Oh yeah. I remember when the Burgesses had the mill to a certain extent. They used to grind it for my father. I'm going to back up so we can look over there without. I, I made a mistake by not buying that house up on that hill. The Burgess house? <laughs> you could have bought that? Yeah. When was that? Oh, oh after the war, $4,500. Oh, my. Now, the, the, mill, the mill race come down back of that. Uh-huh. And they, uh, years back, uh, years back, they, they used to raise, uh, oh, my, that's up, up, See, that was a sewer system. <laughs> oh, it was? <laughs> sure, well, everything emptied into Everybody the, just emptied into the... Uh, uh, well, now the little uh, gray building, was that part of the mill or... The, that was the just part? a garage. The, that was the just, little gray one. They, they built that there afterwards as a garage, you know, to put your car in. Uh -huh. When he lived up on the hill, there wasn't a no road goes up on the hill. Uh -huh. And he put his car in there and his sister lived in a little house. Walmsley lived in a little house. Burgess, Sam Burgess lived up on the hill. Now that that was Hugh Burgess's grandfather or something? That was Hugh Burgess's father's brother. Oh, so it was his uncle, great uncle. Yeah. I want to back up there. Uh, looking at the white building, was there a tavern? The white mill here. Oh my, oh my. 
Oh yeah, it was a tavern down on Eto at one time. No, it wasn't. It was underneath this building here. There was a building here. There was a building here, and I'll tell you what it was here. It was a building here, belonged to Will Will Carter. There was a building here, belonged to Will Carter, and a house. Now was, Will Carter was black. Will Carter, no, was a white no. man. Carter. 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 Okay. And the next place to it here was his garage. Then it was a four or five houses down here. They all belonged to Curtis. Well, wasn't the Oldfield family home through here somewhere? Not as I remember. Miss Oldfield said that her, her. Uh, down there, down there, uh -huh. right there back where that house is. Bell's Lane used to go up out of there. Yes, yeah, I remember that. Well, right. now, Miss uh, Maxson lives on that corner. Max, they might have, Oldfields might have been relations with them. I never, all the time I know the old fields that lived up there, and they built that house in back of and I'm positive that old fields lived in that house across the road. Okay. Well, she uh, said I think it was her grandfather's place, so maybe by your time then uh, it had well, changed it, hands. I don't know where it could have been outside of Curtis uh -huh. owned, Curtis had a Dodge place here. Uh, they sold Dodges? Sold Dodges. Uh -huh. They used to be across the river. And they made them move out from over there and they had a Dodge. You mean over in Baltimore County across yeah, the river? Yeah, Baltimore County. And they had a Dodge place here, and the, the house stood next to here, and they had a tavern down in bottom of that town. Of their home where they lived? No, they were not living by them. They rented they the house. They rented it out, okay. They were all gone at that time. How about, uh, I understood Burgess sold automobiles. Did he sell it, them that's here? That's right, right there. That's his garage, right Was there. Was it uh, Oldsmobiles or? No, Buick. Buick. That's his garage. Okay, you notice how he changed the oh, doors? Oh, yeah, they, they, was t they enclosed it. It had a door all the way across right. it. Right, but you know, the old picture in my book uh, showed just the one door, so they let them put it back to that way. They, uh, they wanted it to look as much as it did when it was uh, purchased. Yeah. So you say the gray building was just always yeah, a garage. The only, the only thing I remember them using that for is a garage to for the people lived in, the, in that house or up on the hill. And you know there was a little pink house over there that burned mm -hmm. that's sitting back there. Well, that was like a summer house. Oh, they, I they see. had it down in there. And there was a spring house down in there too. Right. I see the, 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 the what's name come right down here, the yeah. race that run the mill the come mill. right down back this. This is where they had the there's still a lot of workings of that mill well, see, stuff see, underneath. See over there, they, you can see the stone wall, the race come right down beside that right. and run the mill. Um, you can see this old stone wall underneath this building falling down. Yeah. You know, also, there was a road, was it Mercer Street or something, that went back uh, to those houses at one time? Uh, back in there? Uh, that, 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 it, it didn't. Somebody coming in his car. <laughs> It, it didn't. It didn't go in there like you talked about. Okay. Right? It came what from Fells Lane. Fells Lane. Uh huh. And up right where that up stand is. But they could never use it. That's a road. That's the old Mercer Street. Uh huh. Uh, that was the old Mercer Street that went up by the Burgesses Brick House. Went up to the Burgesses okay. Brick House. It didn't go. It didn't go any farther. It just was okay. a private road from here up. They called it Mercer Street. Because there are Mercer family around here. Oh or yeah, something? the Mercers all live up on the hill. This is the old church, the house burned down a few years ago. Yeah, I remember now, that. Now, th this place here uh -huh. was a blacksmith shop. The garage? Yeah, don't go down too far because it's okay. This was a blacksmith shop owned by Andy Martin. Okay. Uh, and, and then was the blacksmith short shop torn down for the fire station the, to build? Here? I think it burned down or they, they tore it down. Now, the next place was mirrors. next place was a... Uh, that was a home and a little lunchroom. Where the judge's bench is today. No, that was that was Miss. Uh, she'd run a store. I can't think of it. Okay. But this well, across mirror, the street it, where the fire station now, is. Wait, okay. okay. On the corner here, where the cars are sitting there, uh -huh. is was a people named Johnson had a store there, uh -huh. and next to it was an empty lot where Maxson had a blacksmith shop. And they bought that 
when they bought this, see the street cars used to come up the street and stop down there in the street. Right in the street. Right, right in up. the street. They'd get out and put the thing up and go back. Go back the other way. Now, then they bought this here from Johnson after Johnson's store burned down. Johnson had a store uh, next to the fire station? Where, where the fire station is part of it. It's, okay. Then it was a blacksmith shop. Then the next place was uh, where Dr. Bishop is, was Dr. Shreves. He was a dentist also? He was a dentist. The next place was Dr. Uh, Owings? Oh, uh, Dr. Gamble, old Dr. Gamble. Was he a medical doctor? He, he was a medical doctor. Next place belonged to Bagler. The big gray house? The big, there's two houses there. He ran out one side and lived in one side. And the next place was Fagler's store. The they yellow. Own, the they, yellow they own house. that. And the next house between that and where the police station was, uh -huh. was the Fagler's home. There was two brothers. One of them owned a home in there between the police station and... Okay, let's back up a little bit now. Next to the brick building where the old the doctor lived, the gray house, that's where Nora Basil lives There's, today? That was Dr. Gamble's. Oh, that was Dr. Gamble's. That's right. Okay. And well, the brick house where Dr. Shreve was, did he have the whole building? It, uh, they built that's on a picket, picket remodeled that building. All right. Hit picket. Uh-huh. He remodeled it. So how did he, what, he added on to it, you say? I think he did. I think he added Dr. That part where the what's name is on to it. You can see you can see the difference in the brick. But that little cupola seemed me like that always was what I was when he was there. I see. Okay. So then the gray house was do the doctor's. Doctor's. Where yeah. Basil lived. Yeah, that's right. Now and, was it a, a store in there? No, no, that was his home. That's where he had his office. And his home and everything. His home that's home. a big double house. Yeah, I know it is today. now, but it wasn't then. It was just a single house then. Okay, and then the yellow building, which is part frame and part brick. That belonged to Bagler. Bagler. And Bagler. Now, he owned that and rented one part of it out and lived in the other part. And when Pete Strongberg first got married, he lived in that lower part of that house okay. until he got rid of the school up there and he uh -huh. built up on the hill. Okay, because Doris Thompson said that she did live in that corner house when she was real young or something. Oh. Doris Oh, Thompson. yeah, 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 yeah. So she that's, was living in that that's, yellow. That's, I guess she was born there. Uh-huh. Right, and she said... Uh, she was living in that side. On the brick side, yeah. right. You went in from the side. One of those front ends to start then. Okay. Then, uh, when you crossed the street then, to, uh, was there always that road up to the courthouse? That was that was courthouse there. and Strawberry Lane, that little lane run up out of it. Up to the school. Yeah. Strawberry Lane that, went up to yeah. the old school. Now that, that street you're talking about run in, went in here yeah, just before you get up there where the colored school used to be. Uh -huh. there, right. And went up on the hill in Mercer Street. It was only it was only about seven, eight black houses up there. all belonged to Kerger because Kerger owned all this up here. Uh -huh. He owned that now, what did Kerger do besides own a lot of furniture, a lot of property, did he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, Kirk, Will Kerger went up to the country after. I can tell you more about it when we get down okay. the street. Okay. Uh, but he owned a lot of the rental properties in town. Uh, yeah, Kerger. Black properties. And, and, K -E -R -G -E -R. K -E -R -G -E -R, K-E-R-G-E-R. K-E-R-G-E-R. Okay, now, that belongs to John Kerger. This all this in here belongs to John and Will Kerger. Oh, the two brothers. Did they buy it or inherit it? Oh, yeah, it was in the liquor business doing probi during pro 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 prohibition. During prohibition? No, before, before prohibition. Before prohibition. Okay. Now, that's a Walls old home over there. I, I don't know who owned that. On the lower no. part. In the back of the That, you know, they were going to burn that down. Mm -hmm. Brown you know, that used to, the road used to come across there and come over up by that sawing mill you used to talk about. Now, this, 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 this property on this side uh -huh. belonged to Joe Lysher. This, the, this, this was, one? this property and this here, here. Oh, both of them? Both of them. He was a big wheel in the work of life insurance. I'm going to go up Merriman Street, okay? Right. And do that. And did, who added all the front onto well, that they building? Well, added not onto it and he sold it to and sold it out. Now, did it look like, did the buildings both look alike? This was a stone, all stone part. Uh -huh. Then he went back there after she, he died, and she married Grantham, and they built this house back there. Now what was it, their name, Leisher? Leisher, Joe Leisher owned uh -huh. it. Okay. 
Grantham built this house. Grantham married Miss Bessie Lush. Uh -huh. That's right. She was and a I, widow? Yes, yeah, she was a widow. On this side was a stone house that stood right there where that was, Mayfield's own. Oh, there was another stone house on this side? Yeah. What right. happened to it? Did oh, it they burn? tore it down when Charlie Miller bought it. This is the old McCombsky property. You saw his picture in the paper where he... Okay, right in the harness shop. Yeah, that was his property here. They lived here. Ray Helm lived in this house. That's a tiny little house. Helms was a, also had a, a shop out on Main Street, didn't he? Was he storekeeper? I don't Helms? know what they did. This he, little house was... This, this little house here belonged to Helms. That's where they lived. These houses all back there belonged to John Curtin. That belonged to... Uh, Dr. Ben. Dr. That, ben. Yates on the ones on the other side. Well, now this was a little black community. That's back all. Here. This belonged to uh, Bouchard was collecting rents. Oh, these were all uh, rentals. These, these were the Hickenbottoms' garages. Okay. Where he kept real. when he on the. Did he home. keep the horses here, or did they have automobiles? Automobiles, yeah. Okay. The frame buildings. I imagine they kept horses here. Here too. Yeah. Were these also uh, his garages? Now they tore one of those. Low cabin down. Right. They tear them for. right, they're supposed to be rebuilding them. But uh, now this was a black home. Yeah, black home. And but you say the black people didn't own it, but they collected rent. Well, they rented. Black people never owned no homes around here. These are always black people. Is that right? Yeah. But none of them owned the property. No, they never. Well, owned. there was a black church back here at one time. The old map shows. It looks like it was on the other side of the stream, but you don't remember. No, you sure you should. It wasn't this building up here. No, it shows it on the other side of the... Uh, of see, the see this all up here come off of... That's called the river, but uh -huh. I don't know who's living here now, but all black people lived here. And remember there was a log cabin that burned down here? A, a, fam a black family lived here? That's the a, a bill I think you talked about. I don't know. What is that? Do you remember anybody that, ever that living there? That used to be an old building that the Back in people there? lived in it. Uh-huh. I don't know. It belonged to the... the What's the name of the property? Go on. Um, Kirkwood? Manahans. Oh, oh Manahans. Oh. Now, this year belonged to World War Kinsey. Oops. <laughs> 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 Too uh, steep for my tape recorder way back. You just sold this, you told me, 56,000. Now, this right. is the old Hanks home. You know, the old records show this is belonging to the Tananas family, and they were the stonemasons, you know? They're the ones who built the the um, courthouse, the Tamanis. And then they went into Baltimore and became mayor. Uh, now, this is a long time ago, but they are stone houses. Now, this, this is belonged to the walls. And they rented them, or did they live no, they here? they And the Aguilar's lived up here in this other house. Uh -huh. and, uh, Lady Hickbottom's father and mother in that house. This is a... Uh, and that old stone house, I don't know who owned that. You know who owns it now, don't you? Well, you know, Diane... Don't she still own it? No, she sold it after she fixed it up. You know, she took Paul Stone from up there on Fells Lane in a car and brought him down to her herself. I know, she did a lot of the work That's on that house. Aglehart owned that. And, uh... And Aglehart owned the frame house? Yeah, and, uh... Hickenbottom's on this. Now, did they live here? Yeah, all of them lived here. Well, now, isn't there an old Kirkwood house back up in there old somewhere? What? Kirkwood house. There's a frame house that sits back up in the woods there somewhere. Well, I think that's that house there you're talking about. Well, uh, Jane Challenger lives there today. Do you know the Challengers? They've lived there since the 50s, I think. I'm so, that's just house back there, I think. That's the way you got you can come into it, but I don't remember around it. Uh, when the only house you could get into that little lane you're talking uh -huh. about was the house up out of the back of the church, as I know of. Okay, I don't know. Now, there used to be an old school up here on Hill Street somewhere. Did you ever hear about that? Never heard of that. Uh, one of these houses along Well, it could have been one of these houses. Yeah, where it was used as a, a school for the white youngsters. Yeah, well, now, do you remember when the people had this house? I remember when Stuart's lived in it. Do you? Yeah, yeah. And that was Mary Ann Marino's family, wasn't it? Yeah. Stuart? Did they rent out rooms, or? No, they just lived there. It's a tiny see, house. See, they owned that, uh, uh, what's name owned that big building? Mm -hmm. Main Street, the store. 
Charlie Miller bill does have. Maybe that's a house you don't buy. No, it's it's beyond that. It's back. I think that that's what you could, but I think it's one of them up there. It's back up there somewhere. <laughs> well, maybe the, now this is the, the house I was telling you about. Now, Ms. Grantham built. Okay, and that was uh, Last year. rather recently. I mean, what, in yeah, the 30s yeah, or so? Yeah, well, no, it's, well, Do you think they, maybe they tore the old schoolhouse down to build that house or something? If it tore it down, it tore it down at Charlie Miller's. Oh, okay. Charlie built that. Uh-huh. Did he build it just as a rental or for somebody? No, he lived there. Charlie lived there. Oh, he lived up in there? That's, he built it and sold it seven to his way. Now, this place belonged to Levy Frost. This was a little old store and a cotton shop, and they lived upstairs. A cotton shop? You mean you a know, sold fabrics? cottons and uh -huh. that kind of stuff. This is the... You don't know anything. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now see when they moved up here, the fire the, station, the fire station uh -huh. from down here on Main Street. That's when the police department took over of, this building of, of Ellicott City. Uh huh. Of, uh, not Ellicott City then; it was Hard Town, but it was Second District. Put it that way. So uh, you were the chief in this building down here, but oh, you got to show me where you were before that. <laughs> well, I'll show you where Wooshie's office was. Okay. Because when did that you move in here in the 1939. 30s? 1939. So you were working here for more than 10 years before that. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, I told you that was Bagler's store. On the corner. Uh -huh. Back, Bagler owned the house. The stucco house next yeah. to it. This was the first police station, but it was built as a garage. I'm going to turn in here because we're going to park illegally. you got to pull your badge if anybody says it. <laughs> it's reserved for guests. This American property. That's Don Ruhr. <laughs> now, that, down here, that was the old hotel you talked about. Yeah, that was Mrs. Disney's hotel, or uh, the city hotel. Uh, but at, at one time, Dr. Miller had his office over there. And Will Lilly lived in this other side after they made it into a home. This is the building that uh, Scott Starr bought mm -hmm. and made it into a funeral home. Right. It was an old building there and he made it into a funeral home. And then he died and his widow ran that, didn't she, after he did his death? That's the funny thing about him. He was on the road not too long. Uh -huh. And he, he wanted to join the Masons. And it, the, the, political wheels didn't want another funeral director in Elk City and he, he, he never could join the Mason so he went over to King's Road and joined the Mason. And he didn't, I don't think he lived too long, but he wasn't the only one who had a funeral director on this side street, Hill Center. Yeah, right. And next to this building here, this is Sykes's. Right. Next to his was Ed Leisher had a store, a uh, general store. Then the next thing to that was Hill Center's funeral establishment, and West Hill Center, the other fellow lived on the corner. It was a home and a funeral establishment, and, the, and in between that, where the post office was, belonged to Jim Gaither. Now that's the man I was telling you about. And Pop bought it in 1910 at Morley Sale, and he bought the garage and that farm up there in 1910. And Jim, my brother, run it from that time till he sold it to the your brother ran the livery stable? Livery stable. Had men worked and he running like a garage after horses went out. Uh -huh. And it was a little teeny house sitting next to it. Uh -huh. And he bought that from, I don't know who he bought that and that's from. that's all gone now. All gone. All that's in where the fire department is. Or where the, where the mean, post where the, office? Where the post office is. Well now with Talbert's Lumber Company, was that Talbert's Lumber Company? That's Talbert's Lumber Company. When you were? At, that's the man we was talking about before. And where this place was, is his aunt owned this property in here. Well, these were homes, weren't this they? This one home in here. I remember Gasway Watkins, the doctor, had a home in there. Well, Dr. Copeland had his office in here. Okay. Right where this building stood. Uh -huh. And in back of it was two little stone buildings. And over there, where I showed you where that stone house was doing there, uh -huh. Charlie, when he bought it, he bought the whole thing from, from uh, Weaver. Weaver bought it from the Talbots years ago, and then Charlie bought this and moved from the Green Cross garage and built this garage. And what did he call it then when he opened it? Was it still the Green Cross garage? Green Cross garage when he was there. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. But when he, see, Mr. 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 Warfield. Warfield and Scott, they uh, had it. Uh -huh, right. And uh, they they sold out or something happened. Right. And he went down the street and started the insurance business. Scott did. Uh -huh, right. And Charlie right. bought the building. And he and called the Green Cross Garage. When did he start calling it Miller Chevrolet? When he moved up here. When he built the new building here. He had a gas pump and everything here. Gas day. He stayed open 24 hours a day. Right? He did as a gas station. Now uh, this building over here. Where the, the police station uh -huh, the old, uh, I'll tell you how come I'd build it to be there. Will Talbot. Who was running the lumber yard? He, he, uh -huh. he and his two, two brothers. Uh -huh. Will and John. Uh, Dick and Murray. Will, Dick and Murray run the lumber yard. And he had that old lot there over the branch. Yeah. And Paul Mossberger, or not Paul Mossberger, the Ford Company that was up there where I showed you the where Kerger was yes, at the okay. Dodge yeah. He moved, he went down there and bought this old building down there. On the pike? No, oh. right here, maybe where the, where the, where the post office. No, the side of the post office. Okay. And built that building in there. Oh, where Reedy Electric is. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's where, and uh, the Ford company Ford went place, down there. I, that's where I bought that car for $428. Okay. That's Bob Taylor. Uh -huh. So, Will Tarver got mad with Bob Taylor. And he was going to start a business over there, and so he, he built that and started the garage there, but he never managed to know. A repair, a garage to repair automobiles? Yeah, and he rented out after it didn't mount anything. Oh. Well, Did he want to sell automobiles too? Yeah, he wanted to sell automobiles. He got too. mad at him because he left his property and went down. No, and he didn't built. leave his property, but he moved down here. He didn't want to. Uh, auto In them days, they, automobile people were fighting each other. Because it was only two or three times, you know, right. in 25. So he, Bob moved down here, and, and Will Tarver built that building and started the garage and never mind off. I was trying to think of, I think he had a Franklin agent or something. Uh -huh. anyway, Talbot, did Talbot run it? You know? Talbot, well, they, yeah. they had people okay. running. Uh -huh. They never did no work. They always had men to work. Yeah. work. Then uh, the police, I mean, the fire department bought it moved from down there up here and in 39 they moved up to the new building and we moved into moved in. yeah. right. and the Shipley's lived above the fire station what's that the Shipley's lived above the fire station they lived up here yeah. too that's where we had to live when we come down there okay. over the police station uh, the Shipley's lived up there and they lived also up the new place wait was the front of this building next to Talbot's always just like that, ever like since that. I Because I think it's brick underneath. I think they put that on to uh, it's, it's been that way ever since I remember. Okay. That old tin roof. And then the Scott... If, I, if that would have been brick, I think they'd have left it brick on account of that building being brick there next to but it. But now, Starr bought, built that later, didn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you remember when he built oh, that? Oh, yeah, sure. Just well, there was a little frame building. It sat right where that building is there. Right. Did they tear that down or build around they it? They throw that down built it. That was all rock back in there and they tore it, dug the rock out. Did they really? There. Solid rock. Mm -hmm. And then the stars, the family lived above there? Up there. And, okay. and in late years, while star, they rented out in apartments. If star. Star died. apartments. I think I remember did, did, that. Did she, I, I don't know whether she kept on it after he died. I, I think. I know when Hickenbottom come out here. Uh-huh. That's slack now. You know yeah. what I mean, Hickenbottom. Uh -huh. He come out here that uh, there's only two here then. It was Hickenbottom and, and uh, East, because uh, all the rest has died off. Uh -huh. and I think he died off too. I, I know he died. Well, he didn't operate very long, because, you know, his daughter is still living, May. Did you know May Starr? Yeah, but May Starr. She's married and lives up uh, north of Towson now. She married uh, didn't she marry this man up here? Yeah, and then they got divorced or something, and now uh, she... No, May, she, uh, wait a minute. Which one married they this... They worked in the courthouse up there. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. didn't she marry this man up here and it, it died, and it's, yeah. she's the one who sued yeah. the state? Right, and now she's remarried. And again. she married some colonel or something. Yes, uh -huh. right. Yeah, and that was her father, Scott Starr. Yeah. Right. 
she was this is Sykes. This is where they had me a store. I told you, Lasher store. Yeah. And, and then the automobile. And it was a little house stood in here, and the stable, and the. And then where, where was the Ford dealership? Right, right there, Reed's where Reedy's was. Right. Uh -huh. Now this this building on this side was built by Yates for New Craft. New for New Craft. New Craft on a meat store in this building. Uh huh. And was that um? Now that's. The same crafts that had the meat store down the brother, street? Brother, brother. Brother. Uh -huh. Now this. I'm sorry. I just got to plug here so get out of the street. Th okay. This store here was run by them, and Mr. Yates rebuilt it and built it into apartments, and, the, and the, he lived he lived on one floor, and they lived on the other. Uh -huh. Some, and they, that's the old store down there where the hardware place. Right. Now the next place to it was Stiglers. Stiglers yeah. was that a florist or what? No, that was a, a bakery. Was it? Uh, it was a plumbing supply, Joe Stiglers. The next place to it was his brother, had a, a baker line. The next place to it was Mr. Beautifish. Okay. But they put all their fronts in. So yeah, so it looks different. And now, where Mr. Beautifish was, was it the blue building that we're looking at? Is that where Mr. Beautifish was? No, he was below that. Where the uh, church? Uh, uh, where the church is was two buildings. Uh, it was the uh, Beautifish building. But uh, uh, the blue building here uh -huh. was big, and the next place to it was Beautifish, and the next okay. place to it was this Mr. the uh, Harness Man, okay. and they had another little store in there, and it was a Chinaman had a Chinese place, he rented from you know, Nietzsche's, okay. and the next place was Will Herbert, uh, Will Lily. Lily had a restaurant and a pool room. That burned out. Uh, burnt the Chinaman out. I see. Uh, uh, see the front here is where Hickenbottom was. The front. Um, which, the, the blue? No. Yeah, the blue. The blue one. Blue is where Hickenbottom was. Okay. Well, maybe the Hickenbottom was blue. That and Beauty Fish was this side of it. It's kind of hard to tell because they've changed it. Yeah. But the Chinaman burned out and the pool room burned out. And they come up in both that and built that movie there. Yes, right. And the other side of it was where I said they had that Stuart store. Stuart store. And he, they bought that in twenty five. And that went though out way out in the street. It went out in the street yeah. and looked out. And then they, the gas station bought it for and, the gas people. And and put the gas station in there. Uh -huh. but it was a lunch room right then. Well, this lunch room had a pool room upstairs. But that's all gone. I mean, oh, that building gone. all burned. When they built it, when they burnt down, it burnt the whole corner out there. Right. Now, where they, where the what's the name is? Taylor's. Uh, where the Hardy shop is, was right there where that brick building is. I, when I did that, I'll show you. Okay, I wanted to ask you about these. Now, was this a Green Cross garage? That's Green Cross garage. Uh, that was a liver stable at one time, I think. You know what I mean? That were Gaither? No, but that's not no, where that, your brother, no, Joe. That, that was no, here. This was on Main Street. It went all the way around, around this alley. Uh -huh. And there was a row of houses right in the back there. One house back in there where the parking lot is. When Norm was kind of commissioning, he bought that back there and built a parking lot back there. But the Green Cross Garage was actually the building that's there. That's the same building as there ever since I've been And that's where Charlie Miller started out. That's right. And Walter was with him in the business then? I don't think Walter was I don't know who was with him. I okay. think he was by himself. by himself. I don't know what Walter and her. Henry come down here after Bob, Bob Taylor died. Raymond Wolf stored this business here and he got out, Henry, him and Henry Miller had it. Henry Miller had a heart attack and died. That's when the, the soil conservation come in here and, and rented that building. Right. Until really bought it. Uh -huh. okay. I remember just where I was yesterday when they had the meat store here. Uh, the crowd, the corner. The and they had their place there where we all used to go out and go by and there. 
Now this was what's the name? This here was storage coming in there. Beautifish? No. Yeah, this was beautifish down there. This was uh, this was beautifish right here. Right here, yeah. That kind of looks like that yeah. picture. This was hickory bottoms. Okay, this is where the. You know, now this is where the church is where. <laughs> Now, uh, see from here down at Barnett was There's Chinaman and Electra. I'm going to go around the corner. Now, over here, the only thing. Let me go up and turn around and come back and see if I can stop well, you got Tom Crow in there, all right? Yeah. This house is over there. I'm going to go up and go. I lose it. This is all Tom Crow. Uh, t well, Taylor built a lot of these buildings oh, he? before Just he built that building, uh, before he bought that building over there, used them as warehouses. Uh-huh. Don't see if there was any parking place in here. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Jack Mayfield, the one I was telling you about. Uh-huh. That's where he lived, that when he, when he went to. Mayfield in, lived in the Quaker in school up there? Oh, uh, is that right? That's, that's Jack's fault. Not the one. Not judge. the judge. Not his, fault. his father lived up here, that's but there, right. that was also a school at one time, that's wasn't right. it? That's right. My sister and all of them went up our school. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Your sister? Yeah, when the first, second, third grade was up here. They didn't have room for them up on the hill. Then in 1925, they made a school over there yeah. and put it all in there. Put it and up here is the old Ellica burn ground. Right. And the house on the corner belonged to Henry House, the house family. Uh -huh. They owned a lot of property. They was wheelers and dealers in there at one time. The houses, no. the house family was? Uh, he built several houses. Your dad bought quite a bit of property too, didn't he, from time to time? You said as early as 190 three or four he bought some property. Oh yeah, he bought he bought in nineteen three he bought ours. He bought that other back up first and he bought that when the sister I told you when the sister there in nineteen nineteen ten. Uh huh. Uh what did they get mortgages? Is that how yeah, they he, bought them? Uh he went back he had good credit at the bank or well he uh, Jim Dolphin failed. Yeah, they call it fail. Oh, and so he bought it at, uh, and at an and auction. They, he bought it more to sell. Uh -huh. One woman owned all these houses at one time. Right. She was a descendant of the Tongues who built those. That's yeah, why that's it's right. called Tongue Row. Now, he built all these things here. All these. Uh -huh. Now, this building, I don't know who owned that. Parlettes built this on here. Now, where where was the Ford garage? Was it right part here. of that? Right here where Taylor's, I'm not going. Right there, back in there. Oh, it was that back was, in there? That was part of it. This is part of it. I see. He owned all of it. Now, I'll tell you about this. My father, that back in there, this is here where the, uh, where the uh, bottling plant was. This is where... Uh, Grizzly had the bottling plant. Uh -huh. he, what was he making here? Soda or Soda's. something? And he, he also... On a pool room, had a pool, two or three pools. Ridgely pool was the name? Yes. And this is when you were a boy? Or when, when you were a policeman? When I was a boy. Uh -huh. well, he ran that for years. Then Pop had a mortgage on And Frank Paul had had the garage back there. The garage was in here, and he had the bottling plant in back. Uh -huh. And it sold for $3,500. And Frank said, Mr. Marshall, I'll never buy it, I'll never make it. Pop, Pop told him, said, well, you go ahead and take it, and if you th don't think you can make it, all well and good. In two or three years, you paid it off. And that was the Ford dealer then. That was the Ford dealer. And then, in time, did they go out and route 40, because it wasn't Paulette Ford yeah, out there? Yeah, Paulette Ford, out by where Normandy is. That's yeah. where they went back from there. But they went on the corner, him and Harry, for the, right across from Pig and Whistle. Oh, okay, they went there first. Yeah. That's right, where Major Motors yeah. is today. That was the fourth. That's right. And then they went down, did uh, Bought Parlette. Bought that other property from the uh -huh. system, built over back in one. That was a Parlette Brothers. So these are all new buildings through oh, here. The, the, this, this building here, is, uh, this ain't new here. This is just a new front center. Oh, I see. That building there, not that building, but the next building's new. 
that was an old lot in there and somebody built that some Greek come down and built that it was kind of a it was an old one laundry there was nothing in there just an open lot oh an open lot and huh? the street come in and built that building and started a hot dog stand I call it and the next place to it was Joe Malone's saloon uh the old one on the corner here where right Taylor's on the corner. Goes down to shape. There was a, a fire there in the 20s or something along Main Street, wasn't there? That uh, was in 18, burnt that whole block out, the post office and everything. 1918? 18. That's what Harrison Chipper said. I thought it was a little later, a little earlier than that, but he said it was 1918. He's doing a history of the fire department, and that's going to be. Oh, he's been, he's been yeah. with him ever since he's born. That's right. <laughs> he he has. Uh, so, um, then the the post office. Do you remember when the post office was on Main Street that was oh, burned yeah, out? Sure, sure. What kind, was it a frame building? It was a frame building. It was a big, big old building. Now it, something else that got wrong there. I don't remember. Denison, you said moved. Taylor moved from Gen and so the Denison and moved up in the new building. Taylor come out here. He was down there, but. He was on the opposite side. Opposite of the side. Right. He come across and built that building that, that burned out down there. Yes. Okay. Right. He burned, and he moved from there up there and built this building. Right. Um. I got some of that from Doctor Irving Taylor. You know, oh. who was, and I, I may have gotten it wrong. I want to go back, you know, and get some but of he, that. He moved from over on that side. Yes. Uh -huh. Taylor did. Right. I tell it. Built that building, that, where that building was, it burned it down, burned. Uh -huh. was uh, Paul Lockton's Bakery. And it burned out some years ago. And it laid out for a long while, and, and Ike Taylor went across and, and built that building uh -huh. and put his jewelry shop. Right. And then didn't he sell that to Gunderson? Sold that to Gunderson. Gunderson and, and, and came up and, come up and built this yeah. one. Right. Well, well that, that was right, but I don't remember Gunderson ever being on that side. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure that he was, yeah. I'd have to look but back. Down there on Main Street, the next building was, uh, they tell me that the post office went out of here and went down in the, on Main Street. But I don't remember that, going down on Main Street. It went, when, what I remember. It was under the depot for a while, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that? it was years That before. was years yeah, before? Sure. Oh, okay. And it, Mr. Rody went down on Main Street. Well, I think when uh, the post office went out, it went down on Main Street, Lower Main Street. Well, Lower Main Street? Uh, it, would they just go to wherever they could rent space? Well, that's, that's that? all they did to rent it them days. Yeah. They yeah. rented from the politicians, <laughs> whoever's in power. <laughs> the Rodies was in power, they rented from the Rodies. I see. I don't want to all, use... All was in Elk City. It was all the same ones in power. Well, you mean it depended on if they were Republicans or... There were no Republicans. All Democrats? Well, you, mean? It was, it was, <laughs> you didn't vote in the Elk City or Democrat or Republican. You, you had to register to vote in Elk City. It was independent. Oh, is that right? Uh, man run against himself. Now, Frank Paul had built this. He, uh, Paulette built that, built that uh, yeah. as that, a part that, of the Ford, or just? That, that, well, he built that and had the uh, showroom over there. Oh, right. That's where he showed his cars. And he had worked on the, them in the back, you mean? Worked right, right on them in this building, and he built that new building in the back left. Uh -huh. But he lived upstairs. Oh, right. That's where I lived at when I first moved down. So that's not an old building? No, no, no. The one where the no, florist no. is today. Mm -hmm. You can try to get back here. Um, Something else I wanted to ask you. Um, now the Hard House, I was telling you about the Hard House over there. Okay. Now see this where that little what was Paul's Market was. Yeah. That was the Hard House after Eckert died. Uh-huh. Will Kerger bought it. Oh I see. He bought the whole thing? He bought the whole thing. And on the where the little part is at it, where the store was, is where they had the ballroom. Well, they did. They had the ballroom there, Will Kirby's ballroom. And upstairs, where they had the movies, where the second floor is. They had the movies in the newer part over here? In, in the part that... What did they call it? What kind of a movie? Did they have a name for it? They called it Kirby's Moving Movie Hall, House, is that what it was? House. And that's where I went to see my first movie. You went in up into, what's the name, and went into it. 
But after Kirk bought that building, it never did do much after it. Huh. But well, what, when did you see your first movie? What year about? Well, I was about 10 years old. So that was about 1915, 16? 1916. 1916. Uh, well, I remember it just well as yesterday. But wasn't, wasn't, didn't Rody also have a theater then? Not the, oh, he, yeah, he had movies down. I'll tell you about that one. He had movies down there, there and Kerger had yeah, movies up here. That. That's the only thing there. And so, then the so, Earl came later. Oh, the Earl came years later. Earl burned out, then he built this one. Yes. Yeah. Then they, uh, but uh, we went up there, you said they had all kinds of shows and everything up at uh, Rody's. Rody's? Yeah. What, you mean uh, uh, kind of shows? Uh, puppet shows? Um, or uh, uh, plays? What do you call that? Black uh, shows, you call it? Oh, minstrels? Mr. Shows and all that kind of stuff. Who would uh, put them on? Uh, at different different groups, local groups? Yeah, local groups. During World War II, I've heard that things were really bad in Ellicott City, that it was off limits to the well, police. Well, that's in that too, they, that's when the war started. That's when I got the picture of the snowstorm. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it wasn't as bad as they, they had to say. It, uh, they asked you a question, but really they put them off limits. The jail was getting filled up, fighting and things, and a lot of these people, we call them lumberjacks, come in here and then cutting lumbers. And, oh, is that right? Yeah. And in my life story, you read that. Okay. But they had to come in here and they'd fight each other. Just, they were not the play, uh, They were not the military men. They no, were lumberjacks. Yeah, the military, sure. They, they would do. Oh, they did drum just the same as everybody else. They'd, we'd, we'd lock them up and call them MPs come get them. So were there lots of taverns on Main Street then? More than, I mean, just... I, well, I tell you what was on Main Street. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven... Taverns. Mm -hmm. They didn't call them taverns. What they, they call them? them uh, Bars or...? Well, they're supposed to have eating places with it. Restaurants? Like a restaurant. Uh, a lot of them never saw them with me. Well, was the Howard House pretty wild the then? The Howard House wasn't run now. Howard House was closed. During World War II? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was just a apartment house. Oh, it didn't have a restaurant? No, uh, Jimmy Brown run the store there. Yeah. But Paul yeah. Was. No, that was closed. And the uh, Couriers had sold out. The McGinnis bought it. I mean, the uh, Cadline bought it. Headline bought it and sold it to uh, Sam Cap. The Howard House. Howard oh, House, sure. um, Well, was it true that uh, we had, that Ellicott City had bad publicity during World War II that, that uh, the only, was it written in the newspaper about how? The only thing that they, the, the MPs, whether general or whether it was lieutenant would come over there, would complain about these men not being back yeah. when they should be. And they was drinking, and they and they they get in fights with these uh, lumberjacks and <laughs> hillbillies. I call them. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, were they coming up here, the hillbillies, coming up to work in the factories because of the That's war? Right. Yeah. From Tennessee, and, and, and they were mountains down in all the mountains. Working. Most, most of them's gone away from back here now. But uh -huh. just, uh, they were working in like the mills in Oella, is that? Mills in Oella and over to Fort Meade and them places. How about the donut factory? Donut they? factory. They ended everywhere. The uh, donut factory went up in New York and hired about 200 up there to work in the factory and brought them down and put them up at the Hardman's. Half of them would steal everything and they had to send them back to New York. Put them at Hardman's tourist home? Is that where the... Tourist home. Up there where the prisoners were. Yeah, where the prisoners were being hired, yeah. you mean, to, to work on the farms, yeah. huh? Did you, did you have prisoners on your farm? No, no, we didn't have any farms. You didn't have any farms by that? We never hired any anyway. Je uh, Je uh, Charlie hired him. Oh, did he? Charlie Miller? Mm -hmm. My son worked up there with him. With him. Stem corn. He's going to let you come back. He knows what a mess it is. This is the mess. I used to have to get all this traffic here. <laughs> Morning and evening, churches and night. And yeah. <laughs> up and down the street by myself, and streetcars would get tied up down here. You had to come down here and jump them over. Jack McGill told me about what a mess it was on Main Street with the streetcars that oh, yeah. the cars couldn't get by. Yeah. And it was, did you give him a ticket because he went down the wrong side of the street no, one time? No. <laughs>
Now this was the old this was the old bar room. Right here. Oh that was a bar. That was a bar. Room. Okay. The little building next to it you was talking about was a bar a barber shop. Now this this was the old horses. This was Charlie Bartis. This building going to Charlie Bartis. Okay, now these buildings were all built after that. After the fire, fire. of what, nineteen eighteen? Is that what you said? So all of these up to the corner. Well, this one this didn't, this didn't blow. Oh, that one didn't. But that looks like a that fairly new building. This time. But the, the, no, this, this is where it, it yeah. stopped. But Johnson had a, an economy store was here. What kind well, of store is an economy store? This, which one was it? This is where the fire stopped. Well, here was the damn uh, This was owned here. Uh, in my time, uh -huh. this, this store here next to him was a... Uh, Drugstore, Johnson Drugstore. Okay. And next to that was a little building went down like this where they had a shoemaker shop. Uh huh. In the name of uh, uh and then next to it was a cheap John we call him sold all that. Doing the first world war, I bought all that stuff out like his uh, uh, surplus stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the, I would think the sold the army boys were surplus. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the next place was a store, and the next place was a uh, next place was a store, a furniture store. And the next place to that was a hardware store, and the next place to that was. A, uh, The hardware store was right where they are. Nice place for that where a lot of